The question today is, what should I learn to have a more open mind and in general to be successful in life? It might be a course, book, or anything else is what they've suggested. So when we recognize that everything that we learn, everything that we read, actually closes our mind. It reduces what we believe down to a limited set of things. So when we read about a certain way to act or be or do or behave or anything, then it excludes a whole perception of other things outside of that narrowed view. So from that, we can see that everything that we know, everything that we have is, has already closed our mind. So we're, we're living with a very closed mind and that's why we have the subconscious recognition that we want to have an, a more open mind. So if the trap is that the more that we read and learn and, and, and do, that, we bec that it becomes more, um, that our mind becomes more closed, then how do we avoid that? So when we consider that every group w that has an expectation of what we should believe has a reason why they want us to believe their version. So that's why we learn about uh, government, business, religion, education. Each one has a need for uh, us to believe their particular view of the world. And their particular view is a very small fragment of what the much larger possibilities in the world are. So when we recognize that, then we can take a step back and say, okay, do I actually believe what they have to say? Do I believe um, a religion when they say that, that humanity is weak, that we have no power, that we should wait till we die to come to a better world? Or is that a very uh, narrow and um, too restricting way to live? Does it actually make any sense? Or does it only serve the group that if without followers, they can close their, uh, their buildings? And the same applies to, uh, to education. So education needs paying students and they need them to believe a certain, their particular thing. So if you're gonna become um, a, a lawyer, a doctor, anything, I mean, I'm not suggesting you should or shouldn't do anything. That's up to you to decide from your open mind. What, does, what do you feel? And that leads us to, to, to how do we discover what we should do for our life for our own, with our own open mind. And so when we understand that we can use our feelings to guide us towards what we want, because the, the human nature is, is to go towards what feels better. We're continually throughout our life, rightfully, looking for what feels better. And so even when people get into a very distraught state where they uh, decide that they're gonna commit suicide, they feel that committing suicide is better than living the life they're living. It's always a pursuit of something better. So when we recognize, okay, well, we can go into a negative state of better, or we can go into a positive state of better, but that we can each decide from ourselves, once we separate ourselves from the closed mind of everything that we already know, when we recognize that the more that we know, the less we know, that's where that comes from is when we come to the realization that if, let's divide it into a mathematical equation, that for everything we learn, let's call that 10, that we have a one out of 10. Because when we learn one thing, there's nine other things that are no longer true. So if this is the right religion to follow, then everything else is the wrong way. So then we've, we've restricted what we know. And apply that to everything in your life, and now all of a sudden we see that out of 100% of life, we might be living 10% and our mind is closed to the other 90%. So once we say, okay, well, wait a minute, let's just check. Why do I believe what I believe? Why do I follow what I follow? Why do I think what I think? And we come to realize that everything that we learned from our parents was from what they learned from growing up in society, what their grandparents learned from the same society, and so piece after piece, we've become these robots that think in a very limited, minimal way about what life is. So now if we can step away from that and say, okay, so what does life teach us? Then we can see, okay, well, that by observation that we find things that inspire us. And the more that we observe, the more inspired we become. 
So we've all heard the, the theoretical find your why. That sounds good, but what does that actually mean? What it means is to observe enough about life that you find your inspiration through your feelings. This feels better, this feels worse. When you, when you observe things that make you feel worse, then use those like the curbs on a roadway and avoid them, let them guide you onto the better part of the road. So then as we observe and as we become more inspired, then we f have more confidence to follow through on, on what, what, what inspires us. And then we don't have to worry about getting motivated because we've um, become motivated by our observations. And so we've used a very natural part of life to guide us to uh, a better feeling place. Now, there's 24 life ingredients like that, like the natural thought process, which I've just touched on lightly there with through observation, inspiration, motivation, uh, confidence. And when we get, regain all the power from those 24 life ingredients that we all have access to, we're all born with, they're unique they, to, to each individual, but they're also commonly available to each individual to create their own individual life. So to go back to the question of uh, what should I learn to have an open, more open mind and in general to be successful is to recognize that everything we know is the reason that we feel and that we know, so we feel that we have um, a, a very closed mind. We already know that. So now that means that we have to step aside from what we already know, say, okay, so if that's the 10% I know, what's the 90% that I don't know? And then how do we discover that? We discover that through observation and, and we decide individually, this makes me feel better and this makes me feel worse. And I'm gonna keep going towards what makes me feel better. And, and the more that I do that, the more inspired I become about my life, the more I'm inspired about something, the more successful I'm gonna be for two reasons. One is I've found my true purpose. I've found my why for being alive. And then along with that, I'm going to be successful at whatever I'm doing because I've got the, I've made enough observations that I'm so inspired that there's nothing going to stop me from accomplishing what I feel is my purpose in life. So um, it's not always like the more that you read and, and, and the more that you learn, the more courses you take, it's more what you learn because if, if what you're learning is closing your mind, then you want to be careful of how much you learn about that. But if what you're learning is opening your mind, then you say, okay, well, these are life tools. These are things that everybody has in life to, to get the fullest life that they can from what's available. So if you'd like to learn more about that, there's a self-test that you can do at mylifesoup.com. So that's mylifesoup.com. And with that, there's also a free 20-minute life coaching session. Now, in all our uh, coaching, the whole purpose is we're never guiding you to what you should be doing. That's, that's for you to discover. What we provide you with is the, the ingredients of how to discover what you should be doing. That way, you're going to decide as a unique uh, individual of seven and a half billion people what, what you personally want to do with your life that matters to you. That's the only thing that really matters. And so what, once you have those tools, once you understand how to use them, then the, the world, you, you can have and do anything you want because it all starts with observation and recognize that with observation that in the background is your subconscious filled with, the, with everything that you know, which is limiting you from seeing everything that you don't know. Because everything that you, that you see, everything that's new is gonna feel uncomfortable and everything that you already know is going to constantly draw you back a very strong magnet to keep you in that circle of repetitive things that you're that you're recognizing as being unfulfilling. You have a your your feelings are telling you that there's something bigger and better out there for you, but your subconscious is constantly pulling you back into that safety zone of but but I know this. I know this. I've learned this. This is what I can trust this and yet Everything that we can trust, we recognize, is our closed mind. So, uh, like I said, to do the test at mylifesoup.com. Take advantage of the 20-minute uh, free life coaching if it's still available. And from there, you can f 
for many people. They, they discover great new things and they won't need any more coaching for a while. And other people, they'll sign up for our three month or uh, six month coaching. And others, they sign up for this to learn to be an actual life coach that guides people how to uh, understand life without telling them how to live their life. So in the meantime, I'm John Verway. I'm looking forward to meeting you and I hope this has been useful for you. All the best.